Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I thought I would do a bit of like a what I do in a day now that gym is no longer part of it. So I'm gonna show you what I get up to today. I am still very much so on the mend. Um, I am less than two weeks post-surgery, so still feeling very sore through my incisions still feeling very very fatigued so i do take quite a few naps during the day but i thought i'll take you with me on my day today and show you what i get up to now i've literally just woken up these little dresses that i have been wearing oversized dresses have been a lifesaver for me i bought this one well actually i've given this one for a gift it's from Bonds, um, but I have been wearing a heap of just oversized dresses, singlets, because I can't wear anything tight around my incision lately. But anyways, just woke up. It is about 6.30 a.m. I'm gonna go make a coffee, sit down and do some laptop work and get started on my day. So let's do this. Good morning to you. And good morning to you. How is your sleep? Hey, good morning, little ones. <laughs> so, since my surgery, I haven't really been able to be out and about as I have been. So, that means like everyday things like just going and doing the groceries, um, standing up and cooking, meal prepping, etc haven't really happened yet so i've only been home for just over a week um, and so i thought what i would do is get my meals prepped for me now way back well actually quite a few months ago i used to use jordan hartley for my meal prep so i thought i would get in contact with her again so i have bought meals from her so i got them last week when i first got home and then i literally the doorbells just rang so i've just picked up my meals they come in the mornings like a monday and a thursday I get another delivery so it's very early but i will show you what i get um, i usually have like one or two of these a day at the moment i'm just really trying to stay on top of my nutrition get variety when it comes to like nutrients i really need to be looking after my body at this time okay so these ones i think are all the same they're a beef mince with a soy sauce i think there's some shallots with capsicum and some greens maybe some like purple cabbage so these are all those so i just got a delivery of six meals today and the other ones what have we got here so to rocky we have got turkey patties yum with pumpkin and just some greens so they look good I've also got some fish. I think this is barramundi also with some pumpkin and greens and another turkey patty one. Okay, so today I am actually gonna do something about this mop. I have not washed my hair in a week, so I'm just gonna go do the hairdressers now and just get a really simple like wash and blow dry done. And then I'm gonna go pop into the office. Now, I haven't been into the office since obviously having my surgery. So it'll be really nice to see the team. And we have a whole lot happening for Lauren Simpson Fitness. So that is exciting. But before I get my hair done, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. It is my new hashtag fashion because I can't, as I said, wear anything like over my incisions at the moment. So I am living for like oversized tops, t-shirt dresses, etc so this is what i am wearing today it is an oversized t-shirt dress i am wearing a size eight has something on the back too cute but honestly now that i'm not wearing pants pants are so overrated i am teaming these oversized tops with like these are Nike Air Max. I've also got Air Force Ones, which are super cute, or just either like white or black Converse shoes. Anything like super comfy. Like this is a very casual vibe, but I'm actually really liking it. It's so comfy. 
uh, and my handbag is from Gucci. I used to carry my gym bag literally everywhere. Like I would just have my gym bag as my normal everyday bag and now I obviously am not training. So it's actually nice to be able to use a normal human handbag or like little bag for a while and not have my gym bag. So this is today's fashion. I'm going to get my hair washed and then work. So hair is washed. I am feeling a little bit more human again right now. It's seriously crazy just how much like something so small such as getting your hair done can make you feel so much better. I am going into the office now as I said to meet so I'll take you guys with me. You guys haven't seen Henny on here before, so... Hi guys! <laughs> Introduce yourself! Oh, hi! Um, so I am a Lauren Simpson fitness content strategist. I work really closely with Lauren and our other wingman, Jeffo, the videographer, doing all things content. So I work really tightly with Lauren to come up with the creative concepts behind the brand. Um, Lauren is so, so forward about exactly what she wants, what she visualizes for the community and her programs and everything that she wants to come to life. And then I'm the creative person that takes all of those ideas, um, comes up with the campaigns behind it, and then disperse it to all of her She's creative She's the content team. queen. I call her the content queen. We've been like writing on the board some stuff. <laughs> And our laptops, <laughs> and it's gonna be good. Guys, this challenge is gonna be so good. I'm in mean, low key screaming inside right now. It's gonna be low key screaming. <laughs> yes. yeah. I've just gotten home from the shops. I went there after I was at the office. I am honestly so tired. I feel so weak at the moment. So, like, even just doing my everyday things is a struggle, the struggle is real. Um, but I wanted to show you what I picked up today. Just a couple of things, had to get like some staple, like you know that I have my eggs on toast for the morning, so I needed more of that. And I also found, it's like strawberry flavored water, so good. And I have been drinking these Powerades, no sugar, this flavor is really good. Peach and apple. There's also a lemon one. So I haven't been having much soft drink. My belly after the surgery is so bloated. So I'm really not feeling like I'm having, like I do want anything that is really gassy because of that. So hopefully they said that the bloat should go down after around two weeks. So it has been, I think around 11 days since my surgery. So hopefully it is slowly coming down. I do feel a little bit less bloated than what I have, um, but still, yeah, not feeling like myself. I've been randomly craving chocolate, and by craving chocolate, all I have is just one square, and that is enough. I don't really eat chocolate that much, but over night time, the last couple of nights, I've just been having one square of that. Anyway, I know that you guys will ask where this t-shirty dress is from. The brand is LSKD. I have honestly never heard of this brand before. I did like something on Instagram asking where can I buy like oversized baggy things since that's all I can wear right now. And so many people recommended this. And the good thing was it's actually an Australian brand. I think they're based on the Gold Coast. So supporting them. Anyway, I am going to lay down Anytime I am not out and about, I've just been laying down, chilling, doing my work from bed. Like I've made like a little setup in my room. So I'm about to have coffee, a protein bar, and chill. So for those of you who don't know, I'm currently studying. Well, I am going back to studying since now I have all this time now that I'm not so focused on being in the gym, creating gym content etc. So I've actually been really on top of this since my surgery and since I could like think properly again after all the morphine and stuff. But for like the last three days I have watched one of the lectures every day and done one of the little quizzes after it. So 
I'm proud of myself, but sticking to some goals. I've got, this is my setup. I watch it here and then I take my notes here. And I'm propped up on all these pillows. I spend so much time in bed. I'm propped up on quite a lot of pillows just to help support my back. My back has actually been aching post-surgery. And so two days ago, I went and actually got a massage done, which was amazing. I went to Revive. They have always looked after my body. Um, so with the massage, what I did, because I obviously cannot lay on my stomach, she had me kind of, car she does my massages there. She had me lying on my side, so um, could massage all down my back. And I've been getting like a lot of tension on my upper back, like between my shoulder blades. I think it's just from honestly laying down so much and just like, you don't want to use your core at the moment because I've obviously been like cut open. So everything is trying to overcompensate at the moment. So I am like a little bit hunched over. So I was really just opening my back up. So if you guys can, like I do highly recommend to go get a massage if you are experiencing like a little bit of back pain. But anyways, I am propping myself up. She also told me that it is good to put a pillow or like some height pillows under where like your knees are just to like elevate them. Uh, this also will help to alleviate the pain on your back. So I've been sleeping with my, um, with a pillow kind of under where my knees are and I've been finding it actually really comfortable and helping. But anyway, this has been what I am doing for the last hour. This lecture is like an hour and 20 minutes. So getting it done. It is a new day. I didn't get to finish my vlog yesterday, but I thought I would carry over onto today. It is the 3rd of March. Now I wanted to quickly show you guys what my stomach is looking like after the surgery. Um, I know I haven't put much in here for that. I'm actually going to the doctors, just to the GP this afternoon. I already have been there since my surgery, just to make sure that everything was okay. I really wanna keep on top of like my scar healing and just my overall general health and well-being at these times. I've also booked in to go back to the hospital for another checkup, so that will be next week. But um, yeah, I'll show you. I've still got like the bandages on and stuff, but I have put on my Instagram a little bit of a video, but this I guess is just another bit of an update. Now, two weeks, two weeks? Yeah, almost two weeks post-surgery. Okay, so here I am. This is what I'm currently looking like. I have actually noticed that the swelling and just like the overall puffiness around my abdomen has gone down so much in these last few days. After my surgery, my belly was like a balloon and all around here, like I had zero, like all here was swollen all the way out there. It was crazy and it was very discomforting, but um, it's gone down now heaps. I'm actually feeling like my stomach is getting a little bit flatter and the air and everything, like it's healing. So that is a win. Um, so I do still have the same bandage I had from when I had the surgery. So it's just stayed on. I haven't had to change it. So there, I've also got the two keyhole surgeries there. Okay, I'm dressed. Before I head off, I just wanted to show you what today's outfit was. Again, oversized has to be life right now. So this oversized like little t-shirt dress is from General Pants. The brand I think is Neon Heart. And I have teamed that with just some little Converse flats and been rocking like the scrunchie lately too. Also, since you guys wanna see like more real life stuff, I'm gonna show you the cutest thing. Mark is here with Rocky and they're sleeping, both of them out there, so cute.
So I just wanted to finish up this vlog a la natural in my bed. Well, not really natural. I've got my makeup on because I just did a bit of a content shoot for LSF, but I am honestly so exhausted. But I am in my natural habitat is what I actually meant. I am in my bed chilling after a what oh, seems like a huge day we filmed quite a lot of content it's been the most amount of hours that i have spent on my feet since my surgery i so dead but i wanted to quickly finish up we just talking about goal setting post-surgery because for me this has been such a big thing like I am such a driven person when it comes to like my business, my body, my fitness goals, life, personal, whatever it is, I have goals for things. So when my world got really rocked by the surgery, I really had to kind of find that spark, that motivation and that drive in my day again, because as you know, like a lot of my days were spent at the gym creating fitness content. And now that that, that isn't there, I needed to find purpose elsewhere. Or I needed to give myself things to do and I needed to set myself goals so that I could really feel like I was still, even though like I am forced to spend a lot of my day resting, etc., etc., which I'm currently hating, but I know it is all for the greater good. Um, I set myself goals. So one of those of which was to go back studying again, which I had put off my course uh, while I was super busy with prepping for a comp last year. So I'm back doing my nutrition course and the goals that I'm setting around that are like to get a certain amount of lectures done each week. So I found that really motivating for me because it means that, okay, like part of my day now is spent studying, it's spent watching the lecture, doing the quizzes and really catching up on as much of that course as I can. And it's also really stimulating for my brain at the moment, which I find mentally is amazing because I now need to rely on my mental strength more than anything. Like I trained my body, I trained everything. Like so much of attention was on fitness. So now it's all about training my mind. So I've also gotten a new book. I went and bought a book yesterday. This one is called Rising Strong by Bryn Brown. So I've heard really good things about this one and it was all about basically overcoming things in life, um, being brave. And sometimes in life you do fall down, but it's all about how you get back up and how you respond to things. So it's really about just rising up from challenges, facing fears and self doubt and things like that. So I've got a book. So another one of my goals is around reading. So getting back into that, hopefully I can kind of read like two books a month is a good place to start. Like I'm being realistic with my goals here. So I'm not setting anything too big because I want to feel good about the goals that I am reaching. So that's why a big thing when you are setting goals is to be realistic about them. Like set time frames that you know you're going to get done with them. Um, in terms of my business, I've kind of had to really shuffle around a few things of how we work with LSF um, and what like product launches we had coming out. Obviously, I can't be in the gym filming gym content for certain programs. So we are at the moment heavily focusing our time around nutrition, around mindset, and around a few different elements of the whole fitness world. So I'm looking forward though to, it's kind of allowed me to step outside my comfort zone and what I have been doing and explore new things. Um, also in terms of goals, I am actually starting a new business, which I'm keeping secret for now, but a goal of mine is to have that kind of up and running over the next like four weeks and having like things really set in motion. So every single day at the moment, I'm writing down like daily goals. I've got weekly goals. I've got monthly goals and I've got like six monthly goals. These are all things that are outside like this surgery, um, this recovery. Like obviously I have goals around my recovery and what I can do physically. But for me, mentally now, these goals are super important. So it allows me to find that real purpose and drive in my every single day. 
Anyways guys, I hope that you have enjoyed seeing this vlog and a little bit more post-surgery from me. Uh, like I'm not gonna lie, I know a lot of the time I do seem really positive on here and you know what, it has been hard, but I'm choosing to start each day with a positive mindset and really be in a really good headspace for myself and my recovery. And as I said, like I'm just really grateful that I am alive. I think it's important to also accept that not every day is gonna be a good day. It's not always gonna be easy along this whole process to recovery. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna share as much as I can um, on here, um, everything, whether it be like the road to me getting back into the gym, things that I'm currently eating, what I'm doing outside of this fitness world in terms of like beauty, fashion, like I wanna share more of my every single day life with you guys. So stay tuned for heaps more vlogs. I am kind of becoming a little bit more comfortable on the camera and chatting on here. And I've got an amazing man, Jeffo, who edits my vlogs for me. So shout out to him. Um, but we will be bringing you heaps more content. So thank you guys for being part of this new journey, for following along. If you are new to my channel, make sure that you please hit subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all on my next vlog.